What's up, guys? Chris Marler here from SDS, and welcome into our new show, Big Picks Energy, where we talk two things each and every week, and that's college football and betting on college football. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the SEC best bets for the season team win totals going into the 2022 season. Um, but first, before we get into it, I want to give a shout out to our friends at DraftKings. They're running an incredible promo right now. Uh, if you click the link in the description below, um, first time users that sign up with DraftKings, all you have to do is place one $5 bet during week one. It could be college football, NFL, whatever. Place one $5 bet and you will instantly get $200 back from DraftKings, um, which in this economy is just incredible. Incredible. Out here doing the Lord's work. All right, let's get into the picks. And I've got three of the best bets from the SEC team win totals and three reasons why as well. So up first, South Carolina under six and a half wins. I hate it because I love Shane Beamer and I love everything they're doing in Columbia. However, if we're being honest, I feel like they might have overachieved a little bit in year one of Beamer Ball. Uh, I know you have an upgraded quarterback. Anyone's an upgrade over a guy named Zeb. Um, and you have an influx of talent from the portal. But you look at the numbers from a year ago and what South Carolina did. In four of their six wins, they were only by single digits. The other side of that, four of their six losses were by 25 points or more. Looking at the schedule, it's one of the, the top 10 toughest schedules in the country. I don't see where they get to six wins. There is not a lot of room for error. Um, also, they play five teams that are currently ranked in the preseason top 25 poll, three of them in the top six. That's a problem for South Carolina, who as a program is just two and 16 first top 25 teams in the last five years. Up next and get excited because we have the Dwayne the Lock Johnson Lock of the Year or Week or whatever we want to call it. We'll figure that out later. But absolutely guaranteed winner hammer Georgia over 10 and a half wins. Um, could not be more confident in that pick. Why? Well, one shout out to DraftKings again, because they're the only book online that had Georgia at 10 and a half wins still. So a lot of value there, but Kirby smart has been nothing short of dominant in the regular season over the last five years. They've had 11 wins at least in the regular season in four of their past five seasons. Kirby has cruised to 11 plus wins in four of the past five years. They've also had 16 of their last 20 regular season wins come by 21 points or more. Again, Georgia has been dominant in the regular season. And if that wasn't enough to sway you, the schedule is a joke, guys. It's, it's the 58th toughest schedule in the country, which is by far the easiest out of any team in the SEC. Georgia is extremely talented. They return a ton on offense. I know they lost 15 players in the draft, 16 if you want to count Jordan Davis because he's absolutely as big as two people. But have no fear because Kirby Smart and Georgia could actually be even better and more dominant this season. Uh, last but not least, the, the pick I'm most excited about, to be honest, because I crunch the numbers. I do all the work looking at the X's and O's and all that kind of stuff. But rarely have I ever been this confident in the logic behind one of these picks. And that is Auburn over six and a half wins. Why? Simple. Auburn had a quarterback get arrested about a week ago in, in fall camp. Yeah. Okay. First off, shout out to him for doing all the things right in the offseason, just trying to be a better teammate and better player. Because if we know anything about Auburn quarterbacks, it's that if they have one that's arrested, the next season, nothing but good things happen. Sean White, last Auburn quarterback that got arrested, led the SEC in completion percentage. They were a top 10 team and also went to a Sugar Bowl. Before him, Nick Marshall got in trouble for weed window tinting. Fantastic. Also was kicked out of the University of Georgia for stealing from a teammate. All he did was take Auburn to a natty in year one. Cam Newton uh, gets kicked out of Florida. Also a big fan of mopeds. Comes to Auburn. Does nothing but win the Heisman, a national championship, and become a fashion icon for Belk mannequins everywhere. 